I'm going to be setting up Gatsby's haunted house right now. So I have all the stuff over here from previous years. I bought like 30 more things from the dollar store. Are you gonna be brave? I wanted to make the ultimate haunted house this year, so we went all out. Dry ice, fog machine, and the longest and largest haunted house I've ever made. Gatsby, are you ready to do the ultimate haunted house? Okay. Let's do it. First, you must enter through that creature's mouth. Watch out, rats! And bats! But Gatsby's unfazed. He makes his way through the hall of skulls. And what's this? A hallway of eyeballs? Careful! Don't make eye contact! Go before it's too late! Go! The kitchen cabinets have come alive! Don't let them eat you! <gasps> He's trying to grab you, Gatsby! Go! You gotta get through all these ghosts! And now ghouls! Go, Gatsby! Go! <laughs> What's this? A dog toy graveyard? The toys are full of malice! Creepy! Oh man, there's an avalanche! You better get through these pumpkin heads quickly! They're piling up! Go! Go! Oh no! Spiders! I hope they'll leave us alone. Ah! I spoke too soon! Run away, Gatsby! Onto the foggy graveyard? Don't let the spirits get you! What's this? A skeleton disco? Don't stay too long or you'll get stuck dancing forever! Gatsby hits his dance move? This has all been pretty spooky. I think it's time to escape. Ah! You did it, Gatsby! Congratulations! You get some treats! Trick or treat! Ah, oh, good boy! He did it! It's time for us to start the vlog. Good morning everyone. I thought I'd give an update on Gatsby since it's been a little while. For the most part he seems to be doing well. He has good energy and a good appetite. And his fur is slowly growing back. Here we are on our morning walk and potty. I've been taking him to the vet, chiropractor, and acupuncturist. All of them said he is in great shape, especially for the circumstances. <laughs> Look at him go! He does have another follow-up appointment at the oncology department at Davis in a few weeks. I really hope it goes well and that there's no spread or incidences. Gatsby gets his daily supplements in the morning. These are a requirement now that he has no adrenal glands to make hormones for his body. After breakfast, he usually lays on the carpet, but he noticed I set up the camera. Then it's time for me to eat. Gatsby always spends my breakfast giving me tons of kisses. Thank you. Thank you, Gatsby. So I'm eating my breakfast right now. I find that I use my tricky tray a lot to just hold my vitamins. These trays are food grade, so I take my vitamin K and I have some amino acids. Oh, Gatsby licks me. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, so before we mess up the apartment today for the haunted house, I thought I would share with you guys my new living room setup. What I've been trying to do is make it feel a lot like Hawaii, where I grew up. Check it out. I filled my place up with a lot of plants. I added a hanging surfboard. I actually got this new plant right over here. Somebody was moving out and they just gave it to me. This would look perfect in my tropical themed apartment. This side of the room needed a lot more love. This side of the room already had a lot of stuff. I have a lot of plants. I have the globe lights. I have the aquarium. Of course, Gatsby's embroidered pillow adds to the aesthetic. For those of you keeping track, the Papo's plant grew all the way across and all the way down. I got this napkin holder to add to the aesthetic. I got one of these. It's like an hourglass sand art. Gatsby's fiberglass trinket trays. All I wanted to do is make a place where I felt really relaxed. I'm feeling that, so it's all good. Other than that, Gatsby and I have been working tirelessly for the past few months on our 2024 calendar, and I thought I would share with you guys the cover of the calendar. Are you ready? Here it is. 
Corgi on Fleet 2024, living in the moment. There are 12 Gatsby's for the 12 different months, all with different personalities. This year we got Koki from Japan once again to fly over and shoot the calendar. He's a famous photographer in Japan and we spent two weeks shooting our 2024 calendar. We put so much work into this calendar. It turned out so good. And I've been getting a lot of people asking me, when can we get it? The calendar, along with the rest of our Christmas merchandise launch, will be available November 1st. And yes, just as usual, there will be a limited edition signed version as well, with Gatsby's paw print and my signature on the centerfold poster. Ooh. This is Gatsby's eighth calendar and it is one of my favorite ones. I'm so excited to show you all the pictures which will be revealed in the next video. Get ready for a whole year's worth of corgi smiles and happiness. I'm in my office right now. I thought I would share with you guys a sneak peek at some of the other merchandise that I'll be releasing on November 1st. As usual for our Christmas launch, there's a lot of stuff that I've been working on. Some of the stuff I've been working on since April. Other than the calendar, I thought I would share with you guys the new t-shirt design. Ta-da! We're gonna have it in different colors and in a long sleeve as well. I'm also doing an embroidered dad hat. Also, ta-da! A new desktop gaming mat. Look how beautiful. It'll look like this with your keyboard and your mouse. You'll still have some corgis staring up at you. We also have these new Tyvek zipper pouches that turned out so nice. Oh, beautiful. For those of you who don't know, Tyvek is super, super durable. They're tear resistant and waterproof. Here's the size versus our regular zipper pouches. They're a lot larger, so you can carry a lot more stuff. They're super, super nice. You can use it to carry your corgi stuff inside. And one more thing I wanted to share with you that will be launched on November 1st. <laughs> Check it out. A corgi Christmas sweater. Ooh. This is a big project that I've been working on this year. Previous years, I did a Christmas sweater that was screen printed on. This time, it's an actual knitted Christmas sweater. It says Corgi on Fleek on the sleeve. Oh. And it's all gonna be available at our store, corgionfleek.com. So make sure to add to your calendar November 1st. Hi Gatsby. He really likes to play with this pillow, this bone shaped pillow. Okay, okay, right, here it goes. Ready, set, go! But I love this pillow. I love it! It's so fun! I love It's lunchtime. I thought I would make something. Let's do it. I thought I would make some Greek style meatballs. I got this recipe off of Give Me Some Oven. I'll put a link in the description below. Seems simple enough. Let's make it. Everything's here. We have our corgi microfiber kitchen towels here as well. We're gonna preheat the oven to 425. So in order to make the meatballs nice and juicy, we're gonna soak our panko breadcrumbs in some milk. Feels like we're making cereal. So we set this aside. We're gonna work on the rest of the meatball ingredients. I like garlic. Mince it. We're gonna finally slice a whole green onion and we're gonna do some mint. The breadcrumbs absorb the milk. Next we're gonna add one pound of ground beef, one egg, the mint, one whole lemon zest, one teaspoon of oregano and cumin, salt and pepper, crushed red pepper flakes. So next we're going to add a little bit of olive oil to our hand, then we mix. Here we go. So far very easy and simple. She said you don't want to over mix the meatballs because they'll get tough. This is one and a half tablespoons, so I'm just going to eyeball and try to make them all around that much. We're just going to add them to a parchment paper baking sheet and we stick them in the oven for 15 minutes. And that's starting now. Meanwhile, I'm making the garnish for the meatballs. And I got some cucumber tzatziki sauce for it. Ooh. Made a little plate here with some rice, hummus, and some butter lettuce. Ta -da! I thought I would just take a picture of it before I drench it in tzatziki sauce. I'm impressed. It was pretty good. The meatballs are not dry at all. They are very flavorful. The mint inside of it makes it taste so good. I was like, mint inside of a meatball? That's kind of weird. But it works, it works. And it matches the tzatziki sauce. It's refreshing. I like the cucumbers too. It has a little crunch. Mmm. It was pretty simple to make. It was pretty fast to make. And there was not that much cleanup. Overall, I would say thumbs up.
Don't let you know you let me fall in clover Feeling so lucky with you Don't let you know you let me fall in clover Feeling so lucky with you Feeling so lucky Don't let you know you let me fall in clover Feeling so lucky with you Right now, I am at the gym. I am here with my buddy, John. We're hitting legs today. When I woke up today, I felt like my back was sore from the previous day. I did a lot of stretching, but decided to go light on squats. My buddy, John, went extra heavy. Then we moved on to leg press. We both can go pretty heavy on that. Foot position in a narrow stance hits more of the outer part of the quad muscle. Next, we did some calf raises, concentrating on a good range of motion. And finally, we hit hamstrings. Think of this like a bicep curl for your legs. You can see how stringy mine are. I am exhausted. <laughs> we killed this legs. guy's arms. Huge. Forever we... known as the King Quads. What? Yeah, right. Moving forward. I just got back from the gym and it's time to give Gatsby oh. his treat. Gatsby, can you help me find the puzzle? Where is it? Can you see it? Can you help me find it? Where's the puzzle? Where did it go? Help me find it. Find it. Oh. Hey, we found it. Sunday. I've been using this just salmon skin dog treats from Trader Joe's. Corgis are working dogs and they like to be given puzzles to do. Salmon skin treats, stick it inside. This one's a pretty difficult puzzle. He has to get the treat out of here. If he pulls on the rope, the knot clogs the hole. But he's gotten so good, like even for me to get the treat out, it would be really hard. Like, oh my gosh! Okay, so pretty. Thank you again, so pretty. Good boy. Here we go. Just watch him do it. He's very fast. Now. See, he's like, oh, I don't know how to do it. Oh, he already got some out. Just gonna tip over the bottle, and all the treats come out. Oh wow, Gatsby, you're so good at this. Good job, Gatsby. He knows how to do it. It's all out. There's nothing. See? Good boy. I met my friends at Ramen Nagi, one of the top ramen places in the Bay Area. The line is super long, but but we got in. The chain was awarded the coveted Michelin star. And this is the napkin they give you. A tissue paper. <laughs> they specialize in one of the best pork broth ramen that I've ever had. I've tried them all, but I always get the original one since it's the one that won all the awards. It's always a solid pick. So good. I'm done. It was good. Oh. Okay, now for dessert. Next, we visited Miniso. Life is for fun. <laughs> what are we gonna get? The store confuses me. It looks like a dollar store, but the prices are not cheap. But this place has everything. Coloring socks. iPhone chargers. This is where I get my cotton balls from. I need a new mice. I need a new mice. I need one in every color. <laughs> this is what I came here for. Yes. You can get a hat that says life. Oh, it's not challenge. Challenge. <laughs> challenge. Wink moment. <laughs> Every moment's a wink moment. You can't you actually can't buy show, something? Show the, yeah, show, show the us viewers. what we bought. What is that? It's a diffuser. A yeah. full hour. What is that? Headband. I'll be back for my USB mouse. Oh yeah, my mouse. And my cotton balls. Next, we randomly decided to do an escape room, the gold rush room, and they allowed us to film inside. I love escape rooms. I hope we escape. Have you done escape rooms before? They're so fun and challenging. This is how we started. Uh, letters, we have to do letters here. All right. Oh, here's, oh, here's another one. I found one. Here. This is knock, knock, pause, knock, pause, knock, knock, pause. So should we try that? Yeah, let's try it on the tree. Knock, knock, pause, knock, knock, pause. Knock came out? Eight. How many eight coins? Three. Three. And there's numbers, numbers on. on This is probably the combination. Okay, okay, okay. We got... Oh. There you go. What has no legs but always runs? Is it water? There's no W. Is, is it, it river? river? It's gonna be river. Yay! Yay! Got the key inside. Oh, okay, we got in. Bye. Yay! Oh, look, there's 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 oh, footprints. Oh. Good eye. Oh, look, oh, at, that. look at that. Two, 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 two,
2736. Oh, you got one. Seven. Okay, I'll just be putting in the numbers. Okay. There's that one. one. There's like the shapes behind the. No, no, no how do you know what number there? What's that? The shape. What's that? The shape. Antlers? The number, the the number, number of antler bridges. How many is there? So, this one's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight? Eight is the first one. We're so smart. And we got the shovel. shovel. Hit the shovel. Here. Oh, 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 something. Oh, right there. Oh, it's right there. It opened. It opened. Oh, we crawled through. Oh my gosh! Dun 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 we're so smart. One, three, five, two. Oh, the key. The key. What is this one? Okay. <laughs> oh, I got that. I got this. Yes. It's, it's a map. 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 We've completed the memories. Okay. If this is real, then you want to do black, black first. Are you black, black, black. Oh, there. We got the gold. We solved it! <laughs> Congratulations, guys, we did it! We did it! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to start, right? You guys are done? Yes! Awesome. Yeah. 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 I escaped! Yeah! That haunted house took forever to set up and clean up. I want to wish everybody a happy Halloween. In the comments below, let me know what you're going to be for Halloween this year. Gatsby is going to be the great Gatsby for Halloween. You know what I'm going to be for Halloween. Ah. We are working so hard on our Christmas merchandise launch. Make sure to save the date November 1st. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Good night. Hey, Gatsby, check out this awesome fan. We made it to Corgi Con Gatsby. Are you ready? We'll be opening the gates. Come on in. Let's have a good day, everyone.